At Printify, we offer you the freedom and flexibility to do business your way. And the responsibility you place on us to uphold your business and the name of your business long-term is not a responsibility we take lightly. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the ultimate guide to Printify in 2024. My name is Martin. It's my pleasure to be your host today. So who is this webinar for? Well, it's for everybody. If you're just getting started, this is a great place to start your journey. If you've been with Printify for a while, this is a great place to catch up with all the features that we, um, that we have at your disposal, just in case you have missed something along the way so you can employ it to save yourself some time and make some money. So we're gonna have a lot of fun today. I see a lot of people checking in. Um, I see uh, we got people from Poland and Florida and Sea Kits. Did I see this right, that you're joining us from the ocean? You're gonna have to explain that one. But wherever you're joining us from, thank you so much. It's gonna be one heck of a ride because we're gonna be giving away some prizes. We're gonna be having a lot of fun along the way. So um, I mentioned prizes. So um, pay attention because at the end of today's presentation, we're gonna pop a link into the chat and you're gonna be able to answer a trivia question and three of you, uh, that are randomly selected that answered the trivia question correctly will be able to win a Printify Webinars hoodie with the new Printify Webinars logo, much like the one that I am wearing here today, a customized Printify Webinars mug, and $50 of Printify sales credit placed directly into your Printify account. And we also like to have some fun giving away some money during the show. So um, at two points during the presentation today, I'm going to ask you to pull out your Printify account and navigate uh, by hitting the wallet button on the left-hand side, navigate down to where it says payments, and then scroll down to where it says coupon because I'm gonna give away a coupon code. Whichever one of you out there enters that coupon code in first will win instantly $50 of Printify sales credit. So get your typing fingers ready. We're gonna be having a lot of exciting, exciting fun today. And I wanna invite everyone to join me for my live Q&A sessions if you wanna discuss the things that we talked about here today or uh, discuss anything about the Print on Demand Universe or your Printify account, join me Mondays and Wednesdays. It's a 100% free session. Come one, come all. Let's talk about the things you want to talk about because my only goal with these sessions is to sit down with you, talk about the things that are of particular importance to you in an effort to make you more knowledgeable and therefore more profitable. So we're going to pop that link into the chat. Sign up right now and I'll see you on Mondays and Wednesdays. So what exactly are we going to cover today? Well, we're going to cover some basics. We're going to talk about exactly what it is we do here. Um, and then I want to take you through some of the features and uh, uh, exciting stuff that we have at your disposal that you can apply to your business to make yourself uh, to make yourself as much profit as possible while spending as little time uh, doing it. Um, and then uh, we're just going to go over some some basics about uh, about the fundamentals about how it works. We're going to talk about picking products and niches and uh, wrap it up with, with some tips and a live Q and A session at the end. And folks, for that live Q&A session, I'm gonna ask that you put your questions into the chat the moment they come to you. No need to wait until the end and then everybody puts them in all at once. Our moderator, Talish, will collect those and I'd be happy to address those at the end, okay? So let's go ahead and dive into today's discussion. First of all, what the heck is this Printify thing? And what is this print on demand I've heard so much about? Um, if you already know the answers to these questions and you're watching on repeat, uh, go ahead and skip ahead. But uh, for those of you watching live, let's go ahead and cover this uh, qu as quickly as possible. Now, I'm going to uh, just read you the, the, the textbook definition right here off my laptop. Print on demand lets you put your designs on custom products and sell them around the world. There's no need to make any upfront investments, negotiate with suppliers, or hold large amounts of inventory. Basically, it's low risk. Printify is free to use. You can upload your products to your sales channel uh, or a Printify pop-up store. I'll get into that more here in just a moment. And then uh, we would be happy to fulfill those on behalf of you and, 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 your, and your customers. Send those out and they arrive. Everybody's happy. It's really simple. You select a product from our catalog, you upload your design, and then you start selling. Really, one it's as easy as one, two, three. Now, there's a little bit more that goes along with it, but in its very essence, it's really that simple. And uh, earlier when I said that the commitment we make to you to uphold the, uh, the name of your business and support you throughout, the, throughout your business journey is uh, delivered to you in four promises. Now, the first promise would be selection because we want to make sure you have access to the products that your customers actually want to buy from print-on-demand sellers. Otherwise, what's the point? Um, and of course, quality. Because if, we're, if we are... Um, uh, representing you and upholding your uh, the name of your business um, 
you want to deliver a quality product. So that is a commitment that we make to you. And I'll get a little bit into exactly how we uh, we're aiming to do that in 2024 a little bit later. But just know quality is one of our one of our promises to you so that you can stake the name and reputation of your business on it. And of course, speed. Everybody that buys online these days wants their wants their uh, products right away. And so us being able to fulfill that and deliver that in a timely manner is something you can count on us for. And of course, profitability, because if you can't do all this and still make a profit, well, then no, then the, the entire process breaks down. So we have an innate uh, responsibility and a commitment to make sure that you succeed. This is a partnership after all. So how do we do that? Well, we offer you 24 seven customer support. Click on that little green button in the lower left hand side of your Printify dashboard, connect to an, a, a live agent, a real person, not a robot, and have your questions answered quickly so that you can in turn uh, provide quick service to your customers and your business rolls onward and upward. And of course our help center where you can find the lengthy, updated articles about everything about Printify and the print and the print on demand universe so that you can find the, the answers when you need them. And uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll uh, pop a link to our help center in, into the chat as well. Uh, and of course, our YouTube channel. You're watching us on YouTube right now. Everybody, if you're watching, if you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that little button because you'll be, uh, you'll have access to a plethora of helpful videos and not to mention all of my uh, live webinars that I've done previously. You can find those in the live section of our, our YouTube channel where I sit down with industry e uh, experts, top sellers, and we explore in-depth topics um, to all all so that you have the knowledge to make the, the correct business decisions. And of course our blog where you can find articles written by Printify insiders and industry experts about literally everything under the sun. And finally, the live Q&A sessions that I mentioned previously, it's just part of Printify's commitment to make sure you have access to the information you need uh, to be successful. And I love doing those live Q&A sessions. So come join me on Mondays and Wednesdays. If I can play a small role in your success, well, that's what makes my job so, so uh, rewarding and fulfilling. So um, before we continue with uh, introducing you to some features that, uh, that you can employ as part of the Printify family, uh, I just want to, uh, let everyone know that each one of these features that I'm going to present to you um, is worthy of a webinar in and of itself. So I want to be respectful of your time. I'm going to touch uh, on, on each one, and then we're going to pop in some information to the uh, chat. And also, um, all of the links that we share today will be available in the description below if you're watching this on replay. So, uh, And that's in an effort to, uh, to, to allow you to do a deeper dive and investigate these subjects a little bit more thoroughly. So let's just go ahead and kick it off. I mentioned Printify pop-up store earlier. Earlier. Well, let's talk about it because the Printify pop-up store is super exciting. You're not going to find that anywhere except for Printify. And what that is, is it's basically a free storefront. I'm going to be using the word free a lot in, in presenting this uh, portion of the webinar. So get ready to hear it. Uh, but it's, uh, it, it, we deliver what we say. It's a free uh, storefront. It's available to anybody right now in your Print Printify account. And you can create your products, upload them, and, and collect orders. And you don't even need a payment method on file. We'll even handle your customer service for you for free as part of it. So it's, uh, it's, it's wonderful for people that are just starting out. Or perhaps maybe you have a social media following and you just want a place to drive your followers to so that they can uh, buy your merch. There's no fees. You, like I said, you don't even need a payment method on file. You just... Uh, uh, create your products, put, put them up there, and uh, f uh, your customers buy them at retail, and then we fulfill them for the, much lower, uh, for, for the much lower wholesale price. The difference is your profit, and we pop that directly into your PayPal account. So yeah, if you're a follow, if you have a social media following, if, if, if you're new at this and you just want to try, try things out just to, to, to uh, understand the process, maybe you're, uh, maybe you're doing a, a fundraiser for your church and you don't want, and you want all that profit to go to your uh, special charity, Whatever it might be, Printify pop-up is certainly worth, worth investigating. And then Printify Express Delivery. Now, this is the fastest way in all of Print On Demand, it's a Printify exclusive, to get your products to your customers in as little as two business days. Yes, that's right. From the time your customer purchases to when it arrives on their doorsteps, it could be as little as two business days. Um, 
And uh, right now it's available for the Bella Canvas 3001 t-shirt and the Gildan 5000 t-shirt. But those are the two most popular products in all of print on demand. So that's a great place to start. And if this is the kind of service that you wanna to offer to your customers, you can find it right here with Printify Express. Printify Connect, now this is one I absolutely love. And if you haven't heard about this yet, uh, this might be something that you, that you wanna take on board because it's basically you handing over your customer support to our well-trained and talented and experienced agents. This is available for, uh, for merchants as part of our Printify Premium program and I'll cover Printify Premium here just uh, as, soon as, as soon as I finish with, with Connect. But, um, yeah, and the coolest thing is they don't even know that it was Printify that helped them out. They think it's you. The, they think it's you and your operation the whole time. So how much time, effort, and headaches is that going to save you if that's just one part of your business you don't have to deal with, and you can count on us to handle that for you? Now this is only available for our standalone merchants, meaning uh, the Shopify merchants, the uh, Wix, WooCommerce, what have you, and uh, not available yet for our marketplace merchants like on Etsy and uh, uh, Wall. Walmart, et cetera, uh, eBay. Um, and I'll, I'll explain a little bit more about what I mean by marketplace and standalone stores a little bit later in the, in the presentation. But I mentioned that it was part of the Printify Premium program. That is our subscription service, where for $29 a month, you can have access to uh, instant access to a discount of up to 20% on every single product you fulfill with Printify and also Printify Connect. It also increases the, the amount of stores that you can have connected to, to your account. And if you're doing business at about 100, 150 bucks, a month, it pays for itself. So it's definitely, definitely worth considering taking on um, at some point. And you can get, a, you, you can get a, a discount on it if you sign up for the, for the annual program as well. Now, branding. If branding is something you want to feature to, you, to your customers, you can find it here at Printify. So let's go over exactly what I mean by that. We can offer you neck labels on selected products. Now, this grows every, this, this, uh, the amount of products that, that it's available on grows all the time. So you'll see that expand through, throughout 2024, offering you more options. But, you can, but uh, we'll pop that, uh, that, uh, uh, that neck label off and then put a, a customized neck label of your choice to feature your business right there on the garment itself. Plus, what I think is what I think maybe the coolest branding option is the branding insert. Now, that's a custom insert that is inserted into the package so that when your customer receives the product as part of their unboxing experience, they get a special message from you. And it can be anything. It could be a QR code to direct them back for more sales, a coupon code to stimulate uh, repeat buying, or simply just a thank you for purchasing from us. If you have any issues, boom, reach me at this email address. And it's a great way for you to let your customers know that you appreciate their business. And it's really only pennies. It's 10 cents an insert if you're a part of the premium program and 15 cents an insert. Um, if, if, if you're not, it's really, it's quite a negligible fee and it adds so much in terms of the, uh, of, of the, uh, of the purchasing experience for your customer. And then there's gift messages. This is available to our Etsy customers. Everybody, everybody loves to get a nice little uh, message along with their gift saying who it was from so that, they, so that they, they know who to thank and you don't have to make that awkward call or, that, or send that awkward email saying, hey, did you get that mug I sent you? They'll already know it's from you, okay? And Printify Choice, well, when I, was, uh, when I was talking earlier about we want to let you do business the way you want to do business, well, Printify Choice falls in that theme. Now, we are a network of print providers. You can pick and choose based on the kind of experience you want to have for yourself as a business operator, as well as the experience you want to present to your customers by choosing the right fulfillment option that works best for you. Printify Choice lets us do, do that heavy lifting for you. Um, there's a... Uh, uh, a catalog of products that you can choose from that uh, hopefully we will be expanding here over, over 2024. But basically, um, you allow us to uh, find the best fulfillment option for you based on price and quality and your customer's shipping address so that they can get it as quick as possible. And then we do that ourselves in, in the background with our algorithms and uh, everybody's happy and you can, you, you can capture more sales. And I mentioned earlier about our, our commitment to your quality. This is super exciting. AI quality control. Now this is in beta and we hope to be uh, rolling this out uh, systematically over the year, but it's, it's part of our commitment to make sure that we are employing the latest 
and greatest technology to make sure all your orders come out exactly as you want them. So when it arrives at your customer's doorstep, they get exactly what they paid for. They tell all their friends about it, they come back and, and buy more. And uh, if you would like to learn a little, a little bit more about it, follow the link in the chat or, or the description and, uh, and do a deeper dive on AI quality control. But it's really cool stuff. You're gonna really love what it's like uh, when, when, when you finally get your hands on it. And the Enhanced Product Creator, this is super exciting because this was just rolled out last week. And this is, again, part of our commitment to making sure you can do business with as little time as, po wasting as little time as possible. So many man hours of effort and research went into this and speaking with you merchants directly in how we can enhance the product creation experience. We rebranded our, um, what, what used to be our mock-up generator, we're now calling it the Product Creator, and we've sort of streamlined the experience to make sure that you can get from A to Z in as few clicks as possible. Multiply that over multiple products and you're saving some real time. And the cool thing here is, since we just rolled it out, we're still accepting your feedback on how we can improve it. So if you have any, uh, if you have any feedback on, uh, on, on, on how we can improve it, click on that little green button and let our merchant support staff know exactly uh, how you feel about it, because that's something that we do um, across the board when we introduce new, new features. We don't, go, we don't go in any direction without checking with you first to see if it actually will make a difference, okay? It's, it's part of our commitment to make sure you have everything you need to be successful. And consumer packaged goods. This, now if you would have told me all those years ago when I first started at Printify that we'd be selling consumer packaged goods, I would have said you were crazy. But that day is here. You're gonna have these available in the catalog very, very soon. Uh, but you'll be able to sell your own branded coffee, supplements, skincare, and really offer a layer to your, to, to, to your business that simply just didn't exist before. And it's gonna be a wonderful opportunity for you to, uh, like say if you're building a lifestyle brand, something like that, to add, uh, to, to add some, uh, to um, add uh, another uh, revenue stream to your existing business. Okay, and this, is, this will be available for our standalone merchants, not yet available for marketplace merchants on Etsy or TikTok or uh, Walmart, eBay, that, that sort of thing. Um, but uh, hopefully, uh, we'll be able to, uh, hopefully we'll be able to uh, offer that to you at some point. So hold tight. And Printify Insights. Now, how do you make the best decisions when it comes to your business? Well, if you're not incorporating data into making those decisions, you're doing yourself a disservice. And that's where we come in because Printify Insights uh, is a way to present that information to you, uh, like the performance of your store, um, how, how you're doing comprehensively overall, and uh, how your products are, are performing, and what products are currently trending um, uh, amongst uh, uh, other print-on-demand sellers. So if, if, you see, if you see something, if you see a particular product is, is trending, you can hop on that train right away. Now, this will only be turned on uh, into your account if you have uh, 20 or more sales in a 30-day in a, in a period. So when that finally arrives and appears on your, uh, on your Printify account, Think of it as, as a mark of, of success, and then you're off and rolling, making data-driven decisions to further your business. And economy shipping, this is also something that we've just recently rolled out. And if you don't see this available yet in your Printify account, don't worry, you're gonna see it very, very shortly. And now, you can. Uh, this is all part of being able to offer a customized experience, not only for you, but your customers. Now you can customize that shipping experience. With economy shipping, you, you, you can pay a little bit less for shipping and your orders will, will arrive just a little bit later. But if you prioritize price and you don't think that your customers are going to mind waiting for their product uh, for, for, for a couple extra days, well then this might be an option for you. We currently offer you four different uh, shipping methods. There's standard shipping, priority shipping, which gets it there, which gets your products there pretty darn quick, um, and ex express shipping, which is what I mentioned earlier, where we get it to there in as little as, as two business days, and now economy shipping. So um, if, this is, it, 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 if this offers you the ability to choose the shipping experience that works best for you and your customers. And order routing, this is one I love. This has been around for a while, but it's, it's, it's worth talking about. Now, order routing, 
um, is a way to leverage the power of our entire network to make sure your orders get fulfilled. Now, basically, what this what this is, is say for instance you have a Heather Mauve Bella Canvas 3001 in size medium that one of your customers orders. Your print provider of choice is temporarily out of stock. Well, if you have order routing turned on, we automatically source that product from within our network and fulfill it automatically. That way your customer doesn't know there was an issue. You don't even know there was an issue. Of course, that information will be listed in, in your orders page. We're not gonna hide that from you, of course. We're gonna be uh, completely transparent about it. But everything happens seamlessly. And this also routes your international orders. Say for instance, that same Bella Canvas 3001 is ordered by somebody in Germany. We'll route that to a German print provider to be, to be printed uh, and uh, fulfilled and shipped uh, in Germany, so it doesn't have to cross the ocean, it doesn't have to cross borders, your customer gets their order faster, and they pay less for, for the shipping, and everybody's happier. But this is something worth exploring. Check out the link, there's also a helpful video that goes along with it that explains the whole process. And we do this all while offering the most competitive prices in the industry. How do we do it? Don't ask me, I'm not one of the bean counters, I'm just glad that we're able to do it. Um, but. But uh, we are uh, uh, able to do this and we're, and we're glad we can. I challenge you to look around to our uh, competition to see exactly where we stack up in, in terms of price, but you, but you can be guaranteed to get a quality product at a profitable price so where you can be price competitive with your competition, okay? And you can find that all right here at Printify. All right. Well, I am a man of my word. I promised you an opportunity to win some money. So why don't we give away our first $50 of the day and announce our first coupon code. Now I'm gonna ask you to pull out your Printify accounts, click on the left-hand side where it says wallets and navigate to payments and then scroll down to where it says coupon. Now what you don't wanna do is in the chat of today's webinar, you don't wanna put the coupon code. That's not gonna get you any money. Whoever puts this code in first, will win $50 of Printify sales credit. So, why don't we get started? Today's first coupon code is right now, spelled just like this, meaning right now is the time to make the most of your Printify account, go all in on print on demand, and uh, start making a change and put some coin in your pocket right now. And if, you, and if you did win, let us know in the chat so that we can all celebrate your win. Don't worry, you'll have one more opportunity here at the end of the presentation. But congratulations to the winner already. And, uh, and just, just, so, just so you know, you're not gonna see any bells and whistles that says you won. You're either gonna get the uh, $50 or it's gonna say this coupon doesn't exist because someone beat you to it. We only created one. Now let's go through a few of the basics, okay? Um, I wanna start by uh, offering you our guides. Now we've created a series of guides on a number of different topics from selecting a print provider to selecting a t-shirt to how to sell on eBay and Etsy. But uh, it would be worth your time uh, to familiarize yourself with these. And there's two in particular I wanna draw your attention to. The first one is gonna be our must, excuse me, is gonna be uh, our ultimate guide to getting started. What that one is, is a systematic tour through our Help Center articles um, that'll take you from step one all the way through step, uh, <laughs> all the way through, through through the final step of getting yourself up and running with Printify, from uh, opening an account, providing your correct information, to creating a product, and connecting your uh, sales channel, and everything in between. So if you're looking for a good place to start, that's a great place, because our Help Center articles are constantly updated. The most accurate and latest information about Printify, you'll find in our Help Center articles. And, this, and the second guide is our must-read design guide. Now there you'll find all the information you need about what uh, file format to upload your d d designs in, what to expect from the design process, um, and, and, and everything um, that, that you're gonna need to make sure you're uploading the right designs. So um, that is a great place to familiarize yourself with our capabilities as well as what you need uh, in terms of design so that everything turns out the way you want it to. 
So how are these orders fulfilled? Well, quite frankly, um, the customer purchases from your store. We match up the uh, the products that they order with uh, products that exist in your Printify account through the through the integration we have with your sales channel. Your print provider of choice uh, fulfills uh, packages and ships your product, and then it arrives magically at your customer's doorstep and everybody's happy. They reach out and say, wonderful, thank you so much. They buy more from you, rinse, repeat, and, and the cycle continues. But I think it's important to, um, to map out exactly how payments work. Now, we have no financial relationship with your sales channel. That money that you take in on your Etsy account, on your Shopify, your Wix, whatever it might be, stays in your uh, stays on your sales channel. The one exception is going to be the uh, pop-up store because that all happens underneath the uh, 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 Printify umbrella. But that is the the one exception. So the, then we receive that information and we fulfill that product for the much lower wholesale price. And the difference between what you take in retail and what we and the much lower price that we charge you for for fulfillment and shipping, the difference is your profit, which you manage as the business owner. That's why you need to have a payment method on file with Printify, either a credit or debit card, or upload a Printify balance from PayPal or Payoneer. Okay? And then that's that's how uh, that's how uh, payments work. It's not like we draw money from your, from your Etsy account and then and, and then that's what we use for fulfillment. There uh, there is a uh, uh, a barrier between. So where the heck do you sell these products? Well, we have plenty of integrations for you to take uh, for you to take advantage of. I mean, they're they're listed right here. We even have a, a custom API in integration. If if uh, if you're if you're selling in a method uh, or on a platform that we don't connect with, well, you can you can always uh, connect with us through a custom API integration and take advantage of all all the Printify benefits that way. Um, uh, but. Uh, um, Let's go ahead and, and move on because I want I want to talk next about um, the uh, difference between a marketplace and a standalone store. Now you can think of a marketplace like Etsy, eBay, or Walmart like a uh, shopping mall or like a farmer's market where people come to come to the mall or the market and then you have a booth and then you set up and you compete for for customers uh, that are that are are already there uh, doing the, the, their shopping the marketplace does the heavy lifting of uh, bringing the customers there and then through various strategies to to uh, that, that you would employ you compete for their business whereas a standalone store is like opening a store in the center of town and then you would have to drive that traffic to it and uh, through various marketing strategies or social media strategies, e email marketing, whatever it might be, um, the upside to a standalone store is, is absolutely, well, the sky's the limit because as long as you can bring those uh, customers in and convert them into paying customers, um, then, uh, then, uh, you, then you'll be amongst our most profitable uh, merchants at, at, at Printify. So let's talk quickly about picking your niche and your products because um, an, uh, finding your perfect niche is going to be one of one of your main keys to success. Um, and what what is, what is a niche, and what exactly am I talking about there? Well, it's a specialized market segment uh, for a particular kind of product or a service, and specifically like um, like you're going after people who are are into hiking or snowboarding or they like dogs or volleyball or things like that. That is a, a way for you to target a specific kind of customer, okay? And we can talk about sub-niches th therein. A sub-niche would be like, okay, if you like snowboarding, but you like California snowboarding, or if you like volleyball, but you like beach volleyball, or if you're, if you're into dogs, but you only like dachshunds or Yorkies or something like that. So each time you sub-niche, you reduce your, uh, your competition and you can uh, offer something very specific to a very specific customer. So why even bother choosing a niche? And we're gonna pop a link into the chat um, where I had a, a, a very lengthy discussion on this topic with uh, during our uh, uh, Amplified event that we had back in, in September. So if you wanna do a deeper dive on, on, this, on this topic, go ahead and click that link um, and, and, and check out that discussion. Um, but yeah, I mentioned it's a, it's a great way to re reduce your competition. Um, you can build a certain amount of brand loyalty by, by uh, offering specific uh, products and designs to a specific group. They'll learn to love you and come back for more. 
and you can become an, an expert because if you're all in on a particular niche, you'll be, re you'll be doing research, you'll really get to know your customer, and you can really target their needs and their interests um, with your products. And it also gives you an opportunity to charge a little bit more because as you as you as you choose a niche and as you if you if you decide to sub niche down, well, you're going to be providing something very specific that they can't find anywhere else. So that gives you a great opportunity to capture a little bit of extra profit. And you can spend less on marketing because you're not targeting everybody on planet Earth. You're targeting a very specific segment of people and you'll know exactly where, they, where to target them. If you've done your research, you know where they congregate, you know the spaces online in which they, in, in which they inhabit, and you'll know how to reach them and you'll know the events in, uh, uh, around which they, uh, they, they participate. So how the heck do you find a niche? Well, um, well, you can build on your interests and, and your passions. I mean, research the market. There's any number of research tools out there. We'll get to that a, a little bit later. Um, and but of course, you, you'll have to validate your niche. See, the further you uh, sub niche down, you also reduce your your pool of, of potential customers. Say, for instance, you like uh, you want to target motorcyclists. But let's say motorcyclists in, in Michigan. See, that would be an example of sub-niching. But then as you go down, well, maybe I just want to target uh, motorcyclists in Michigan that live in the Upper Peninsula. And then maybe just uh, those that live close to Lake Superior. Okay, so as, as, as the further you go down, you can see how your pool of customers also goes down. So make sure there's enough people out there that can support your business goals. So how do you identify your target market? Well, you do that by creating an image of who your customer is. Uh, what do they like? What are their interests? What are their particular needs? How can your products uh, uh, fulfill those needs? And, um, and, 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 where, and where do they spend their time? How do they spend their time? That sort of thing. Uh, uh, you, know, you, can, you can segment on uh, things like age, gender, um, uh, uh, specific interests, hobbies. Um, but if you're looking for an, an, a niche to target, and I, I, give this, I give this information to, to, to everybody, target a niche of which you are also a member. That, that way you already come to it with innate knowledge because your target customer is yourself. You already know the online spaces in which they congregate because those are your own online spaces. You know the events. You can speak their language. You come off as genuine. And, uh, it, it's, it, and it, it gives you an opportunity uh, uh, to get a leg up on the process because, well, you're your own target customer. Now, what the heck do you sell? Well, we've got a ton of products, so how do you know what are the right products for your customers? And, uh, and, and just to let you know, folks, our next webinar is gonna be all on products. Products, products, products. We're gonna be doing a deep dive into this, so join us in two weeks. I'll be sitting down with a Printify Insider that works with our uh, most profitable and uh, with our biggest sellers, and we're gonna talk all about profits and do, uh, and do a comprehensive study on how to select the uh, products that are right for your customer. So we have 950 products. That's a lot of stuff to go through, okay? Now, uh, when it comes to going through our catalog, I, I advise people to, yes, go for those products that you think um, are, are uh, uh, that, you, that, that your customers are, are gonna want. But the cool thing about uh, 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 print on demand is that you can offer products that you just want to try out because you don't have to, there, there are no upfront costs. And uh, that means that you can try out a product. If nobody buys it, well, you're not out any money. You're just out, out the effort it took to uh, upload the design. And you learn something. You learn that your, your target demographic doesn't want the ice bucket and tongs or the unicube or the uh, uh, shower curtain, whatever it might be. But it's important, it's, but it's important to try things out. Um, yeah, you have to identify what your customers are looking for. If you if, if you are your, are your own target customer, well, just you you, you already know what sort of products would uh, fulfill your needs, um, and you can do uh, uh, if. You do anything, if you follow, if you take any of the advice about finding, finding the right product, take this one. Do competitor research. Check out what other sellers in your space are selling. That way you know uh, at least what is uh, popular. And then you can also identify gaps in that market. Like, okay, uh, I understand that um, snowboarders uh, need, uh, uh, need neck gaiters, but none of my competition is selling neck gaiters. So then you just uh, source that from the Printify catalog, put it up, and boom, you found, you found a, a gap that you can fill and collect, uh, and collect orders in. 
And it's really that simple. And don't be afraid to try out new ideas. Again, uh, with the low risk involved, it's worth a try. Now, pricing, great. Now you've selected your products. How the heck do you price them? Now, this is a conversation I have with merchants all the time. You wanna strike that balance between you know, charging too much uh, where, where, where you're driving uh, sales away and you're charging too little where, where you're not capturing as much profit as possible. And we're gonna pop a link in, in, into the chat right now uh, to a, a comprehensive webinar I did on this particular subject about pricing where I explored several different pricing strategies, philosophies. We talk a little bit about consumer psychology. I go through several different examples of pricing uh, on several different uh, uh, sales channels, that's definitely worth checking out. But you, you have to factor in, um, it's time to get out that uh, uh, calculator and put those math skills that you learned in high school to, to use. Because at the very least, you want to make sure that you're covering all your costs. You don't want to make a sale and then find out it costs you $1.50 to make that sale. You're not, you're, you're not going to go anywhere with, with, that kind of, uh, with, with that kind of thinking. So factor in all the production and shipping costs. Make, determine your fixed costs. Those are costs that don't change regardless of how many sales you make, meaning the uh, fees that you pay to your uh, sa uh, sales channel just to have it open, not, not necessarily the, uh, f the uh, 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 co commission fees that they take off it, or the uh, subscription fees that you use uh, to, uh, for your research for, for your research or design tool. Um, those are important to factor in on a monthly monthly basis. And then account for those fees that you're going to be, uh, th that your sales channel is, is going to take out of, of each sale. And then of course, research your competition to see how they're pricing their uh, products. That'll at least tell you what ballpark you should be playing in. And then include all your variable costs. Now those are costs that are going to be, that are gonna change from month to month. Those are gonna be like different marketing costs that you have if, you're, if you, if you uh, are, are paying for, for, for ads, or if that month you, uh, you involved some, some influencer marketing or took on some uh, email tools uh, that particular month. Um, and then consider seasonal changes. One thing you don't wanna do is leave your prices stagnant. There are gonna be different times of the year where, uh, where, where seasonality will, take, will uh, factor into your pricing. Let's take the example of the snowboarder. Well, it stands to reason that in the winter, there's gonna be more demand for snowboarding products. So you could probably charge a little bit more for it in the winter. In the summertime, to stimulate sales, those might have to come down a little bit because again, wintertime is when people are mostly thinking about snowboarding. And let's just go over a few of the most common pricing mistakes. Um, not updating your pricing, like the set it and forget it method, uh, it's, no, no, it's not a good strategy. You wanna constantly evaluate your, your pricing, the performance of your products, um, compare that to different times of the year. Maybe you'll notice that this particular product sells well during this time of year versus that time of year. You're gonna wanna adjust your prices accordingly and uh, uh, account for those holidays as well. And don't, um, don't, don't base your pricing simply on, uh, on having a lower price than your competition. That's called a race to the bottom. There's something called perceived value. You want to, you want to increase the value uh, in your customer's mind uh, of your products because we don't get, uh, the nature of this business is we don't get a chance to talk one-on-one -on -one with our customers like, like they did if, I, if they came into our brick and mortar store. The conversation we have with our merchants is done through our product descriptions, the mock-up images we choose to display, our, our, uh, our, 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 our products and everything in, 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 in between. You wanna make sure th that that is, is, is optimized. Um, and so that you can, you can make a case for why your customer is better off with your product versus keeping that $30, that $25 in their pocket, okay? Um, and then uh, make, sure you're, make sure you don't have a, uh, the same profit margin for all your products. Some people just put a like tack on a 30, 40% profit margin across the board, which may work for, for some products, but there are other products in which a 50% you know, profit margin or a 15% profit margin makes more sense. So make sure, so make sure to um, evaluate and apply accordingly. And um, make sure you're not uh, overvaluing uh, or, or undervaluing your products because uh, 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 doing your competitor research is going to let you know where you fall in line in terms, in, in, in terms of, uh, of, of, what, of what others are doing um, so that you can at least uh, uh, make sure that you're uh, playing in, in the right ballpark. All right, let's wrap things up with a little bit of tips for POD success before we get to the Q&A portion of today's uh, session. But thank you so much for, for coming along for the ride. 
at least so far. Hope you're picking up some, hope you're picking up some good information. My, one of my top tips that I try to drill into, into everybody's head is go in and offer top-notch customer service. Go all in, especially in the beginning. You wanna treat your customer like your crush. You wanna let them know you're interested, but you don't wanna come on too strong. And what I mean by that is making customer satisfaction your priority is going to lead to good reviews. Seek out, good re seek out reviews, good or bad, at least it's gonna let you know um, how you're performing. What those good reviews are gonna do is they're gonna rank you higher in, in, in marketplace searches. It'll, you'll be able to put those on your, on your website as, as social proof. And um, a satisfied customer is gonna come back and be a repeat customer. Um, and don't keep it a secret, folks. I've had this conversation many times where I, I, I talk to a merchant and, they say, and I ask them, how's your customer service? Are you making it a priority? And they say, yes, yes I am, 100%. And I don't see it anywhere on their storefront. If you prioritize customer service, put it, put it uh, uh, early and often on your storefront so your customer knows that if they have any issues, they know how to reach out. That's gonna give them not only uh, post-sale confidence that they, that they can uh, 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 find resolution to their issues, but it's gonna be able to give them the, uh, the trust they need to make that sale, and to make that uh, purchase in the first place. And that's gonna give you a leg up over your competition. Um, now, it's important to take on a few tools. Now, specifically, uh, keyword research tools and, mar and market research tools. There, there are uh, any number of them out there, um, like your E-Ranks, your Everbees, your Marmalies, your Sales Samurai. And the good thing here is that they have uh, either free versions or trial versions, so you can try out each one to see which one works best for you. Me, personally, I use E-Rank. That's just the one that makes the best sense to me. And uh, you'll be able to do um, uh, uh, keyword research so that you can rank higher in, in organic search, as well as be able to um, uh, find out wh where your competitors are and where those and where those products are in, in your particular niche in your market segment. So you can so you can do that research. And of course, design tools. Uh, th that's what makes this business so special. You're able to upload your, your own personal designs, um, whether you're, you're getting them from a, a professional designer or you want to uh, come up with them yourself, there's any number of tools and services out there to get that done. And, and most people find that where it was, uh, in the beginning, it was, the, it, it was what caused them the most angst. Once they got into it, it, it turned into the most fun part of the entire process. Because there's something rewarding about creating a, a design and then selling it and it goes viral and, it, and, 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 and lots of people are, are out there wearing it, the satisfaction you have knowing that your design is out there walking the street somewhere is pretty rewarding. And then capitalize on your success. Use those data-driven decisions to find out where you're having success, to determine why you're having success, and then apply that across your entire business. So if something's working for this product, well, it might make sense to apply that to your other products to see if it also boosts sales. And if a particular design is, is, is popular, well, why not apply that design across other products? Like if you're selling a design on a t-shirt, why not try it on a sweatshirt, on a mug, on a tank top, that sort of thing. And uh, it, this, is, this, is, this is a way you identify what works and then scale up. And then as you go through the process over time, you're gonna, you're gonna have an innate knowledge of what works. And then so when, you, when, when you're creating products, you can already set them up for success. And please folks, uh, I, I, it's worth talking about again. Do your competitor research. Find out who is selling in your space and do a regular routine assessment of your competition. Make that part of your workflow. And it, it, it'll, it'll help you identify new trends and also um, it'll, it'll help you identify those gaps that I spoke of before. But make competitor research part of your normal everyday workflow. And, and this is important, get inspired to uh, build on their ideas and make them your own, but never, ever, ever copy your competition. That is a short-term strategy. It's never a long-term strategy for success. All right, well, if you enjoyed today's conversation and you wanna keep it going, join me for my live Q&A session sessions that I host on Mondays and Wednesdays. 100% free, we're gonna pop that link again into the, uh, in, into the channel. If you're watching on repeat, you can find that in the description below. But come down, sit, and, and let's explore some of these topics in more detail. I'd be happy to do so. Again, if I can play a small role in your success, well, that would, that would make me uh, very, very happy. And it's just part of a Printify's commitment to your success. 
All right, so uh, I promised uh, I promised you the opportunity to win a bit of money. We're gonna pop the link to the survey into the chat right now. Uh, for those of you that answer today's trivia question based on the presentation today correctly, three of you will be selected randomly to receive a prize package of a Printify Webinars hoodie featuring this new awesome Printify Webinars design, a customized Printify Webinars mug, and $50 of Printify sales credit placed directly into your account. So. And before we get to the uh, Q&A portion, I promised you another chance to win, and I'm nothing if not a man of my word. So I'm gonna ask you to get out your Printify account one more time, hit wallet, hit payment, navigate down to where it says coupon, and prepare to enter today's second coupon code. All right, today's second coupon code for $50 of Printify sales credit is educate, spelled just like this. All right, and what I mean by that, folks, is one of the unique advantages of being in this business is the educational opportunities or the ability to learn about this, this business is massive. You can live 100 lifetimes and still never consume all the information that's out there. And it's 100% free. Don't take it just from me. Don't take it from Printify. Do, do yourself a favor and do a Google search, do a YouTube search for print on demand, and you'll find any number of industry voices, be they, be they influencers, be they uh, top sellers, uh, out there uh, communicating the, uh, their, their, their mistakes, how they overcame them, tips for success, TikTok, whatever it might be. Uh, a few suggestions I have for you is there's Starla Moore out there, there's uh, Heather Studio, there's Cassie Johnson, there's uh, Passive Income Angel, there's Jenny from the shop. That's just to get you started. Um, and, and, and again, the cool thing is it's all free. They're giving it away. Make education part of your, uh, of your, of your, uh, of your business journey and, um, and, and, and use it to your advantage because again, it's 100% free. All right, well, let's go ahead and dive into today's uh, Q&A session. I'm gonna apologize if we don't get to all your questions today, but I'll do my best to answer, uh, answer as we go, okay? Um, this first question comes from Saj Design Company. Uh, welcome, Saj, and I appreciate you sticking all the way through to the end. Saj's question is, what are the top three platforms to market your products? Well, it's a very, very interesting question because if we're talking just about marketing, I mean, it's going to be your social media platforms. It's going to be your, your, your meta platforms, your uh, 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 Facebooks, your Instagrams, things like that. Of course, you have to go to where your customers are. If you're selling you know, grandma mugs, well, there's probably going to be fewer grandmas on TikTok than there is, say, like on Pinterest or something like that. So those are, 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 are where you, first you have, to, you have to decide who your customer is and then find out where they congregate online. Because maybe it's, maybe, maybe it's not even a social media. Maybe it's, you know, s certain blogs or, or, or things like that or, or online chat rooms, you know, if, 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 depending on where, where, where your target customers uh, exist, okay? Um, Olivia Rossi. Thank you, Olivia, for joining. Um, Olivia's question is, can we use Google AdWords to drive traffic to Printify pop-up store? Well, um, mm, you're, you're, you're able to connect your Printify pop-up store to, uh, to Google Analytics so, so that you can, so that, so that you can uh, uh, track that information, but use Google AdWords to drive, tra yeah, I mean, there's, I, mean, I see no reason why you wouldn't because yes, the, 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 the pop-up store is technically a standalone store, so it, it exists in the ether of the, uh, of the internet, so um, using, uh, optimizing your SEO or your search engine optimization to drive that, or, to drive that uh, traffic to it is certainly possible. Um, Jack has a question. Where would be the best place to post the pop-up store link? Again, that depends on how you're doing business, Jack, um, and, 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 who, and who you're targeting. It, Jack, if you have a social media following, well, that, th then that link goes on just about every social media post that you have. Um, if, you, if you have a social media uh, uh, account for, for, for your business, um, you might want to follow the 80-20 rule where you're offering 80% of, of, of user-driven uh, user content or user-valuable content, and then the other 20% is actually pushing 
pushing your merch because you don't want to come across as someone who's just advertising all the time. No one's gonna, no one's gonna in, enjoy following you, and the, and they'll unfollow you uh, eventually. Um, but that might be something to uh, to think about. Okay, um, but uh, but uh, I mean, uh, in, in 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 forums and discussions, and, and as you as you're participating in the in the social media universe, um, and, and, um, or creating a Facebook group, things like that um, are, are are things you you might want to think about. But again, only if your customers are there. Um, das Needed. Hello, Das Needed. Thank you for joining. Uh, das Needed's question is, when shipping out to customers, is there a way to modify packages um, to our business through Printify? Uh, so I think you're, I think you're asking about uh, customized packaging. That's something that, that we're working on for you. Um, uh, stay tuned. Hopefully we can get that to you sooner rather than later. But what we can offer you is a customized shipping label so that Printify's name or the print provider's name is not going to appear on the packaging, but the, inf but the business information that you have in your Printify account will. So it's going to look like it's coming from your business, a total white label service. Another one from Saj Design Company. Wonderful, Saj. Uh, thank you for joining today. Uh, Saj's uh, second question, can you have four different pop-up stores selling different products? Well, yeah, you mean if you have a, a Printify account and you, need, and you don't have premium, you can have up to five stores connected to your account. If you have a premium member, you can do up to 10. But why you would want a Printify pop-up store just to sell a single product? Um, only if they don't necessarily uh, fall into the same theme or niche. Like if you want to sell, uh, you know, a, a, a mug for for uh, for uh, teachers, and then uh, you know, a t-shirt, a t-shirt for new moms. You know, those don't necessarily those don't necessarily al uh, align too much. Um, but if you if you wanted to create a pop up store and target different niches or markets, you can certainly do that. Why you'd want to do that on a product by product basis? Um, not necessarily. Uh, I'm not necessarily seeing how that would be effective, okay? Barbara has a question. Thank you, Barbara. Um, how do we connect our Shopify store to Printify Connect customer service? Wonderful question. Um, all you need to do is uh, follow that link. May Talish, if we can, uh, how about we pop that link in one more time uh, about Printify Connect for, for Barbara? Follow that link, and then uh, and then you'll be you'll be right as rain. We'll, we'll get you connected right up um, uh, according to the information in the uh, in in the article. But it's it's pretty easy. You just uh, you just uh, hand it over to us. We take care of it, and we do all that all that heavy lifting for you. Okay. Um, um, Kiki Carter and Greg Webb asked, "Does Printify connect customer service with work with with the pop up stores?" Well, yes and no. I mean, it's not it's not the in. It's it's not the entire uh, Connect service, but it is in spirit, meaning that uh, the, all the customer service for the pop up store is handled by our agents in, in, on your behalf. But there is subtle differences that makes it that that makes it unique. But again, in essence, in in essence, it it, it functions in much the same way. Um, Zenon Scoro, and I apologize if I've just butchered your name, but Zenon Scoro has a question. Will it be able in the future to collect buyer's data in purpose to do more marketing? Um, uh, can we put some of our info into the gift message so buyer can contact us or follow us or follow on socials? Okay, um, to, to collect buyer's data. Now, now if, you, if you're selling on a sales platform, that information will be available there, not necessarily in the Printify side of things. Well, I mean, you'll still have access to your, to your, to your customer data on, on, on Printify. Of course, we need to know who your customer is and, and to, to send it to the right person and, and to the right address. Um, but for the most part, that information will be more easily accept, uh, accessible on your sales channel. Um, and the, the second part of your question, can we put some of our info into the gift message so buyer can contact us? Or well, you're not gonna wanna do it in the, in the gift message because that's for your customer. Okay, you can do that on the package insert though. That is fully customizable. You can put whatever you like on there, uh, and, and put whatever message or whatever sort of coupon code or whatever you like. Uh, you know, e email address, QR code, whatever you like, to, whatever information you want to communicate to your customer. That's fully customizable. So go with the package insert. But the gift message, that's for your customer to communicate with with the recipient. All right, so we have time for one more question, and I want to thank everybody for for uh, joining. Um, and uh, this last question is for is from Husni, Husni. And again, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. But thank you for joining, Husni. Uh, about branding, will a sticker with our branding over the package be available in the future? Um, 
It would be awesome for UCG content and the first impression for clients. I agree it would be great as, as far as the, having a good, making a good first impression on your customer. Um, I can't give you an answer on that right now, um, but I'll, I'll tell you what, if, if and when it becomes available, we won't keep it a secret. You'll be the first to hear because we'll let everybody know about it, okay? But good, I'm happy to hear that you're thinking about the, about the customer experience and about how you can use branding to, uh, to uh, 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 elevate, elevate your, your store and really put a specialized stamp on your service. So good for you, good for you, Husni. All right, folks. Well, that's it for today. I hope you're better off here at the end than you are at, than you were at the beginning. Um, but join me again in two weeks on the 29th where we, where we talk all about products and we continue this, this discussion talking about how to select the right product, doing a deep dive onto, onto, uh, uh, onto popular products and, and uh, dur during the holiday season and otherwise. I'll be joined uh, by an in-house expert, one of our Merchant Success team leads, Johnny Rook, and who works with our most uh, who works with the biggest Printify clients we have, and you can mine him for, for information. There'll be a, uh, a, uh, a live Q&A session afterwards, and it's gonna be one heck of a good time. We'll be giving away prizes and everything like that. But folks, uh, that's it for today. Um, thank you so much for joining. Congratulations to the winners, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Thank you.